Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenerolf here. We're going to be playing some more Magic Arena. The quest today is just to kill 15 of your opponent's creatures. Fair enough, as long as I don't run into a bunch of decks without creatures, we should be okay because I built this deck specifically to deal with this and um, black dealing quests. So like, cast 20, cast 30 black spells. Uh, this is pretty decent at it. Now it's not a great deck, but it's good for just accomplishing a quest. It has a lot of kill spells, small creatures can play before those kill spells so they can poke in a bit. It's fine. That's fine. It's certainly not ideal. You could build a more optimal version of this very deck, but this is mostly just what I have for wild cards. Or not for, for cards that I already have, I should say. Uh, so this is fine. I'll keep. Alright, so... I'm going to start off with Whisper Squad. Even though you can do more damage with the Gutter Bones, of course. Hmm. Okay, with the Midnight Reaper there instead. But they did just show me red. I'm actually going to play both Gutter Bones here instead of using Whisper Squad. That'll synergize with Midnight Reaper. Oh boy. Ooh, okay. Now that's curious. Reaper or Priest? Sure, we'll do Reaper. Yeah, no, we're not attacking here. Priest is going to take a while before she gets online, unfortunately, at this rate. But she would kill a creature. That's She has a sack built in, you see. Uh, lose your life, sack a creature, you gain black, black, and draw a card. Fair enough, fair enough. Ooh, uh-oh. Ruh, ruh, raggy. Well, at least they didn't go towards Priest. I can live with that. Alright. And we'll pass right along. Holding up Whisper Squad. I'm actually going to put a stop on my draw. Alright, let's find out. It has its buff online now, and that's not particularly great. When it attacks, target attacking creature without flying gains fly. Okay, well, it is what it is, I suppose. We'll just activate this now. Activate this twice. Right. And then we'll draw. Oh, of course we draw. There we go. Well, it's fine. We can actually still cast it. Go on to my main. Activate it. Any number of target players lose two life and sack a creature. So that's why we did it that way. So they have to choose which one they'd like to lose. Spoiler alert, it's both. And then we hit them for a bunch. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And we still have Priest for later if we need it. And the gutter bones can come back, so maybe. Well, that's fine. Taja. Uh oh. Uh oh. Good game. Oh, they just did it to do it. Fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. Yeah, maybe gutter bones is better there, but I give up quite a bit of damage if I use the gutter bones. The reason is because I can get them back from the yard. Plus, I can attack with them in a future turn, and then any that die can come back. Alright, now real quick, I'd just like to show off. I have, should be 20. Yep, I have 20 packs, and we aren't opening any of them yet because we're waiting on T1 Stoneforge Mystic so she can open them for us. So, I'm sorry. You'll see those later, but <laughs> I have a ton of packs just waiting to be opened. Alright, let's get a little bit more of this on. A little bit. 
with my it's definitely suboptimal deck, but we'll take it. Hmm. Artima. I have not spent any real money on this game, just in-game currency. I also didn't know about the daily deals thing until recently, so occasionally, like, every, what, other day or so, you get a pack, potentially. That's kind of neat. Alright. There we go. Play the Whisper Squad out first. Whisper Squad Cavalier. Seems okay. What is this? Ooh, that seems pretty substantial, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know that I want to deal with that. It is until end of turn, so we can develop our board now instead. Or at the very least, we can play another Whisper Squad. Double Strike. Okay. No, no, this is fine. This is fine. So we'll pass. Ooh. I may regret that. I may end up regretting that. Okay, that's true. That is a one. That is a one power creature. Fair enough, I suppose. All right. Yeah, there, there's no way they're not attacking here, so just let him do it. All right. Ow. And now it has double strike. So we are absolutely blocking here. Boom. Reaper. Alright. And then... I, I kind of want to get some source of lifelink going. Hmm. How did I not... That was a two drop. I don't know why I didn't do that. I'm I'm brilliant, folks, I tell you. Alright. That's okay. That's okay. We'll live, maybe, hopefully. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we'll still have a chance at it. That works. It's still better to get the Elspeth's Nightmare down now for two reasons. One, I get a chance to take a card from their hand sooner before they have a chance to play them all out. Let's do this now. And two, Meyer's Grasp, even if it doesn't kill a creature, it can do stuff. Boom. Okay. We're just going to play all the things out. Can't attack with the Vampire, but I think I'm going to leave it back. Uh oh. Give them the nice. I haven't actually given them the hello yet, have I? Yeah, Reaper seems a little unfortunate right now, I'm afraid. Aha! Okay. Well, it wasn't gonna. It would have taken a, a cavalcade unless that was a top deck last turn. So, yeah, I did mess up there. So we get gutter bones. We could do Midnight Reaper, then Cavalier, but I really want to get a Source of Life Link up. Or I could do Midnight Reaper Whisper Squad. That'd be interesting. That way I could use a Whisper Squad on Cavalier. Alright. You can block. I'm actually going to hold you back as a blocker. Ooh, Spitfire. Another reason to wait on Cavalier. I get to have a bigger, better target. Alright. Activate. You've activated my trap card. Alright. There that matters so much. Their graveyard's gone. Alright. In all seriousness. Sack a creature. Kill. Let's see. This creature. And we have lifelink now. Yay! Ta-da! I'm strongly tempted to swing with the at least the gutter bones. I don't know how patient I need to be 
Uh, Cavalier is a source of lifelink, so I'm about to get rewarded for it. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. If I attack with Reaper, Reaper just dies. They're gonna they're gonna do that trade. Wait, are they? Maybe. Oh wait. Oh wait. Only one Cavalier in the deck, by the way. Okay, that's fair enough. And it just has this uh, off-brand fire breathing going on. Oh, I should... It's my bad, I should've used Whisper Squad. Should've set a stop. Alright. Alright. So this thing is... It uh, actually can't die. Boom. There's a lot. Play Gutter Bones. Don't reveal that we have a Swamp. Play full control so they don't know what that is. Okay. Anything else? Alright. Hey! There we go. Cool. 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 So, fun fact, where it says, uh, kill that many creatures, I, I think it's obvious that doesn't include exile, but it actually includes them sacrificing their own creatures. I found that out because of Bolas Citadel. So, yeah, they, they can have a Bolas Citadel out, and that'll actually do it, too. If you play through three of your turns without seeing the timer fuse, you'll get a 30-second extension for a future turn. So, actually, playing it historic, I wouldn't be against, I wouldn't at all be against, uh, playing like a Bola Citadel combo deck like we had in one of our previous workshops. That would be kind of neat. Uh, Phyrexian Obliterator, uh, Grey Merchant Vasfidel is already a deck I play in Modern. It's just Mono Black Obliterator Devotion, or just Obliterator Devotion. I think for the most part people know what you're saying when you, oh, give them the hello. Ah, I didn't say it at the right time, so they may not have seen. I'll say hello to because I think they were scrying at, at the moment. <laughs> okay. Aha, there we go. That's fine. Because... There we go. That's the one that we really would like to stick. We would rather stick. Knight can just kind of take the game over on his own. All right, still with two up. We'll try for it. Oh, it just went straight on to damage, so they don't have anything. Okay, one of the joys of Arena is that if you don't hold full control, you can just move through that. So I knew they didn't have something there. Oh, hi, ah, uh, hi, Narset. When you discard a non-land, I'm sorry. Deals damage that card equal to the... Okay. Interesting. Fair enough. Hmm. Let's just play out our creatures, I guess. Because this is a plus one. Yeah. Notwithstanding blockers, we should be able to deal with her. But of course, notwithstanding blockers. Skewer. Okay. You chose well. Ooh. Ooh. Very interesting. Okay. I definitely don't dislike that. And then pass right along. All right. Here goes. To open the mind, you must first open the heart. Aha. X equals five. Yeah. 
I guess there's no point in not activating it. I, I kind of just feel like it. Why not? Why not? Alright. Well. Okay. Ooh. They might have a quest, so I'll keep in, but yeah, I'm very much dead. stands in my way is getting sizzled. Actually, this is... I haven't seen any creatures yet, have I? No <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't be getting anywhere anyway. Alright. Three, six... I'll make him do it, but... Hmm... Where's land destruction when I need it? Why is that not the deck I'm playing? Oh, okay. Two emblems. Three emblems. One, two, three! Hold on. I think these murders are blank against me. I have a sneaking suspicion. Chandra, you are just, you are just full of, uh, what's, what's the term I'm looking for? Um, you're just a jerk. Alright, there's something. Sass, that's the word I'm looking for. You're just full of sass. Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. I'm still very much dead. And that's okay. Why not? It doesn't matter. Why not? Jeez. Victory is just another puzzle to be solved. Jeez. Is it just me? Or is it getting a little long? There we go. That was that was it. Seven life, seven emblems. Seven emblems. Eee. I mean that is her job. Killed zero creatures though. To be honest, there is a side of me that wants to concede when I see that they don't have creatures and I'm on the creature quest, but I don't know. I guess it's over. <laughs> I'll let them get their... I guess... Yeah, I'll just let them get their quest. They may have a quest going on. Ash Williams. Alright. Cool. Let's see. Hold up the hello. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. <laughs> the joys of having a touch screen. You can do that. <laughs> the tech skill. That's what it is. It's tech skill. Okay. Not where I wanted to see you, but that's okay. Um. Why am I doing that? See if they make the trade. You won't. Oh, you will. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna hold up this figure. We're on the kill quest, after all. Yeah, this is the Witch's Oven deck. Okay. Does that deck run Whisper... Uh, yeah, Whisper Squad? I can see it. I'm sorry. 
when it dies. Ah. I got. I know this is gonna kill Whisper Squad, but I got bad news for them. I have bad news for them. Oh. Oh, equal to its power. Its power was. Yeah. Never mind then. Okay, we're we're fine. And there's my stop for the uh, Whisper Squad. <sighs> okay. There you are. There you are. So I'm I'm running black. I have zero artifact destroyed. Okay. Ah, uh, this is not going to work out the way they think it's going to work out if they if they decide to sack it. Please do. Oops. Oh no, it does! Really? I'm sorry, I, I didn't need to do that. It goes to them? Okay, I, I thought I was gonna get the token. Fair enough, I suppose. Fair enough. Alright. Yeah, we'll activate this now. Doodle. Got there. Oh, sorry. I have to go to main first. Uh-huh. Okay. Guess we can go to combat first. Since the witch's oven is tapped. Do it. You know you want to. Just do it. Okay. This still counts for the kill quest. We are still doing that. Alright. Actually, that was probably a bad idea, because I'm not going to get to use this Myers Grasp now. Wait, yes I am. Ah, uh, there's the there's the cat again. There's our kitty cat. Well, I can kill Luris. But once again, we're just going to throw both cats into an oven, so... This game is... This game makes sense. This game is fine. Alright, then they'll make a food. Yeah, now, with the priest, now I'm kind of regretting doing that earlier, but it's okay. Alright. Cool. And then... Pass turn. So that's decent against Witch's Oven, because if they have multiple creatures, even if they sack one with Oven, they still have to sack a creature. I mean, it does something, at least, whereas, like, a targeted removal spell, mm, not so much. Ozolith, okay. So, no, uh, what was that? Butcher? Dreadhorde Butcher. No Butcher shenanigans. I mean... sacrifices. Uh, well, it's gonna die anyway. And damage doesn't go on the stack anymore, so this is fine. Alright, cool. And then they sack the food token to get it back, and then they sack it with Witch's Oven, and then they kill the priest. Or, never mind, they didn't even have to do that. Didn't even have to do that. Alright, there it goes. Now Whisper Squad's dead. That's a thing. I can live with that. That two toughness might come back and bite me, though. And then here comes the... No, no cat. No kitty cat. I guess they're saving it for when they sack the food token. Ah, there we go. Well, whale. Whale. Oh, whale. At least because it's a Witch's Oven deck, I'm going to really ramp up on that kill quest. Alright. Durul. 
Lem the Coddle. Shouts to anyone that happens to remember that. That was Yu-Gi-Oh. That was the early 2000s. The Yu-Gi-Oh anime. I'm sorry. What did you do? And why did you you don't play that before? Oh, because they didn't have it in their hand yet. Okay. Menace on one, Death Touch on the other. Oh, okay, both. Good game. Bloop. Give them the chance to complete their quest. Yep, there it goes. One to me. So I am actually dead. Was that a... It looked like a shrimp for a sec. Showing up on that food token. I've never actually paid attention to that, to be honest. Alright, there we go. Woo! Doop, 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 doop. Whale. Whale. Mm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Alright, ooh, one more. If I only have one more, I kind of want to switch to a more viable deck, to be honest. Gotta get back on my silliness again. I can kill one creature with this deck. No, I, I have Chaya's Greeting and damage, because Lava Coil won't actually kill the creature. Ah! Ah! But I do have Lava Coil. Alright. Alright. But it is a more viable deck. It isn't haphazardly thrown together. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry about that. Now, to be honest, I didn't. I haven't looked through M21 specifically for land destruction. But if I'm not mistaken, we're about to lose every single land destruction spell in standard once rotation occurs. Yeah, that's a key. And there's our giant greeting. We take those. We actually want to save the Temple of Mystery for a bit. It is unfortunate that they all come in tapped. On turn one, it's not such a big deal. There's Ozolith. Okay. I have... Oh, okay. Whale. This is fine. Because I'm going to be able to have my four drop on the next turn. Growth Spiral, Temple, and then Fable Passage. There we go. Paradise Druid. Uh, not necessary anymore. Hmm. Get out the God Eternal first. I could have done the Tech Rift there. And that might have been better given what I just saw. Okay. Whale. Blow that up. It's a very technical magic charm. Blow that up. Hiya! Boom! Kakate Koi, come at me. Come at me, bro. Aha! Ooh, that's interesting. So I would have to spend four to. Because she has like a built in spell pierce, sort of. It's not Spell Pierce, it doesn't counter it, it just makes it where you can't cast it. But I need to use the Jaya's Greeting, even though it's going to cost me 4 mana. So that I can get rid of all their blue. We'll just let that be it. That's fine. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> yeah, okay. You don't actually win in the end game all that often with this deck. You win when the opponent concedes because they lost their lands. Or in this case they lost one of their colors. We'll play to one more. Play to I'm playing to four wins because after that you get sharply diminished well, you go from hundred to fifty coins each, so I always make sure that I get at least through the hundred coin quest or hundred coin reward every day. Um, because I'm trying to save up for buying the historic bundle. I did not 
start this soon enough to get the historic bundle too, and uh, I'm gonna have to spend wild cards on any of those that I want now because I missed out on it. So I'm saving up for historic bundle three. Oops, and two is the one that had Thalia, which is one of my favorite creatures in Magic. Uh, not Glistener Elf or anything, but Thalia is really cool. She's everything I adore, except that she doesn't have Infect. She has good lore behind her. She's a powerful creature in her own right. 2-1 uh, for 2 with First Strike. Uh, what is that? Fable Passage? Um, I'm going to gamble a little bit. Tiny bit. Uh, and she has a Hate Bear effect. And you can tell by the fact that I'm running Land Destruction, I kind of like those. Let that go. All right, we kind of need to find something where this this can get out of hand very quickly. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Wait. There we go. Uh oh. Okay. If we can find a land, we're okay. That's not it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes, got there. Okay, we got there, folks. Get a mountain. Alright, I have a sneaking suspicion that it's more important for the opponent to have black mana than red. So now this this is this is the joke. Now this is fine. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I am a terrible person for, for liking that experience. <laughs> opponent rage quits. Yes! I mean, I play Zangief in Street Fighter and Puff in Melee, so... Uh, you know what, that was quick. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, real quick, while it's loading, while it's loading. Um, this is a present given to me by my sister for Father's Day. No, because of the glare, I don't know how well you can see that, but... Isn't that just the, the greatest thing? Oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm in... I'm, yes, I, I told her thank you approximately a billion times. Yeah, and it's, it's right here. Right here for now. It, it's not up yet. Um, need to find the... Oh. Yes, that's good. Okay. Normally I try to save the temple for when we can use the scry, especially since we have Kefnet in hand. Uh, this is fine. Ooh, okay. That's not great. They're gonna have an extra land. That's not great. Uh, well in that case... Do I just hold up greeting just to do it? I think you do, right? Oh, hello. I mean, they're not going to put a lot of pressure on my life total. Oh, yep, yeah, see? Worked. Nailed it. They had to know that that was coming, though. Alright. We're still going to get those lands eventually for Garuda. Alright, see? Case in point. Um, no ramp, though. That is a bit unfortunate. Definitely save the lava coil. I do not care about a 0-4 without reach. I do care about this. Even the gods cannot Heroes, rally to me. A rut row. A rut row. Alright, so Kefnet. If we can start copying some shenanigans, we'll be okay. I think it's only about a third of the deck that can actually get oh god. Oh, that's not good. It's no bueno. It's no bueno. Alright, making more? Okay. I am proud of my country. Oh boy! And then that happened. So, I guess we are gonna shuffle then.
okay. Can't run something like Flame Sweep. Uh, Storm, Storm's Wrath is probably going to need to go in the main board if I'm going to keep this deck up. Uh, there are just too many instances where it matters. And it does kill some of my creatures. It kills Paradise Druid. Um, but it doesn't kill Garuda. It doesn't kill Kefnet. It doesn't kill Ravager Worm. It does kill... Oh, it kills Sphinx of uh, Foresight. But that's just a one of. Ooh. Uh, I see... I figured anyway from the Karns Bastion, but that that solidifies it. Yeah, we're just too far behind at this point. We're gonna need something of a miracle. Get out of this. Yeah, I think we're done. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy! Uh... Have to destroy that. This will set up a future scry. Get out of there. Now. I still have to kill a Johnny. This is going to hurt this next turn. This is going to hurt a lot. But I have to do it. This is going to hurt a whole... Oh. Okay. Okay, then. Oh, boy. And... That's game. <laughs> overkill much. A little bit of overkill. Uh, you got me. Just to do it. Just to do it. Boom. And then there we go. <laughs> Make a statement. Oh! Let them finish their quest. I... <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. Alright. Well, we, we can try that again. We can try that again. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Even just seeing that, that they could get an extra planes kind of throws us off a little bit. You know, we're land destruction. We're trying to keep them off their lands. Oh, wow, that's a high curve. But I'm going first. Yeah, that is quite the curve. Uh, we're still going to play Steam Vents first. In before Top Deck Growth Spiral. Oh, okay. Now, this is fine. Play that. Pass. Why did I do that there? Oh, well. Oh, well. Do this now. I don't think I need more lands. I don't know what my opponent's on, but that was a quick turn. No, no, not yet, not yet. All right, there we go. Cool. What you got? Oh, yeah, heck yeah, we're revealing that. Heck yeah. Ab absolutely, absolutely. Um, I'm not doing the Fable Passage instead, because I already put a card on the bottom of my deck, and I'd like to not draw it. Minor, minor difference, but you know, I'll take every benefit I can get. Plus, it doesn't look like our life total's under pressure. There we go. There we go. See? You never reach the end game. You just never reach the end game with this. They concede before then. I have gotten people to concede to me in Ranked. Where they know they're gonna lose rank if they do. So you might as well play it out, right? No. No, they're not gonna just play it out. <gasps> Hi, Gary. Ah, oh, Zombie after my own heart. Hi there. I love that card. So much. Haven't had any drops today, so 
I may want to start playing some ranked today. Um, yeah, the internet, as you've seen, as you've seen if you've been watching the the arena series, it, I don't think it's arena. I think it's just my internet uh, is really slow and it cuts. And if you if that happens in ranked, you, you it's treated as a loss, which makes sense. You want to keep rage quitters from being a thing. Um, yeah, we keep. Okay. Not pl playing the Fable Passage first is my hoping that I'm going to find another land. Alright, so cool. Obviously, play that first. See what we get. Give him the hello. Let him know. Cute little fox. So to this day, Evangeline still thinks that what the fox says is blip. Shoutouts to Melee, I guess. Uh, let's do this now. Maybe? Sure. I'll do it now. Maybe that's wrong. Popped. Okay. That's fine. They didn't do the uh, arena casual thing of playing their land first, so, but surely they didn't keep a hand with one land. Aha! Okay, so we got there, but we won't be able to get Garuda out. That's a little unfortunate. Little bit. That's a lot bit. Okay. So they have shock in hand. Good to know. away from the pick. It's framed, but still, just better safe than sorry. They're, they're tapped out. I'm gonna just do this now while I'm at it. Wait a minute. They didn't play land yet. Oops. Oh, well. Ooh. What you got? Haste. Uh-oh. Oh, well, it's fine. They're gonna opt here. Since they haven't seen land destruction, maybe they haven't been prioritizing lands. Which means we might just be able to get him. Okay. So I'm going to. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to be that guy. Okay. Okay. So rubble reading. Or play Sphinx. I have a sneaking suspicion that the Sphinx is dead. So I'm going to play rubble reading first. Ooh. We actually could use another land. Okay. Alright, so into Summit Sprint. Shock, actually. Fair enough. So I called it. There was a shock. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, it's, it's fine. It's fine. They're going to put... If they don't use it now, they're going to put Summit Sprint on uh, Storming Entity. Stormwing Entity. They're going to shock here. Okay. So I would trade the Sphinx for the Entity. Oh, it has Prowess, too. So I wouldn't trade, actually. I would not. How greedy do I think I can get away with being? Because I, I have to do the Sphinx here, don't I? If I take out the Steam Vents, they're left with just red. They have Summit Sprint for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from Prowess, 6, 7. I don't think I can wait. I think I have to do this here. So, but if I use the Sphinx here, if I use the Sphinx here, then... It's dead next turn. Just period. It's dead. Well, no, I could block the Arcanist instead. Arcanist would definitely... Okay. Okay. This might not be right, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. And then next turn we can blow up their blue source. Please don't have another blue source, please. Okay, here we go. Went to combat. Alright, what are they putting it on? Sprint on Entity, right? Uh, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Do they have another buff? Still have to do this, I think. Because if they cast anything, Stormy Entity beats out Sphinx. They need a pump to save Arcanist. Like Summit Sprint. So I think this is still the correct play. Or they could just be doing this for damage. Oh, okay. Okay. That's fair. That's definitely fair. Six, okay. Get to the rule. Land. Do they have a land? Please say no. Oh, it's shock. Okay, well, it didn't matter anyway. Hmm. Okay. Here's a land. Fair enough. Uh, so now, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this pickle? Um... Guess I just play the Garuda Lottery? And just hope they don't have me? Because even a shock would kill me here. Garuda into Ravager Worm would be sick. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Alright. Well, draw a card, draw a shock. Just do, just do it. Just end me. Oh, they have shock in the... Oh my god. So I'm dead next turn if I can't kill Arcanist. Which means I am dead. Good game. They got me. They got me. I guess it wasn't inevitable, but if I use the Ravager Worm to fight a creature, if I don't fight Arcanist, I lose to Shock. If I do fight Arcanist, I lose to a flying creature. So, I'm dead either way. Unfortunately. We'll go f we, can, we can get one more win. One more win. We can do this. We can do this. I believe in you, Kefnet. Oh, hi, Jaybird. That's my name. I'm Jay. Ooh. Okay, let's see. So, try him, of course. Give him the hello. Let him know. Okay, there's Ravager Worm, right on time. Um, well, let's go. Let's see what we can do. Season of Growth. Just gonna do this now. Oh boy. Did not get there. Uh, that's fun. Can do Growth Spiral, but I can't add Garuda to hand. No, 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 no. It's way more important that I hold up Jaya's Greeting. Way more important here. Oh my goodness, yeah. That would be... Whew! Misplay City. Enters the battlefield. If you control a creature with power 4 greater, draw a card. Okay, fine. Creatures you control have Trample. Okay, that's fine. Alright, what do we have? Come on. Okay, now we can start doing stuff. Blow up a land. Oh, how many more lands do I need? I can live with both of these. I have Ravager Worm in hand. So we'll do Steam Vents first. Not that it matters too terribly much. Plus, I have the removal to get us there, too. Okay, that's fine. Scry, scry for all your lands, please. <laughs> Even if they do find their lands to get out of this little pocket I have them in, one of the joys of that is that... Oh, it's probably the time to do this now. Hmm. One of the joys of that is that they won't be finding their creatures. So it works out. I'd say. Alright, Ravager Worm. Do your thing. Do your thing. What is this? Oh, it's gonna mutate. Okay. Well, I won't be able to fight it. Which is a, a little unfortunate. So I might actually hold off on the Ravager Worm instead. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I will. 
blow this up instead. Enter tapped. I can't use Jazz Greeting on it anyway. And I think this is the kind of deck where I need to preserve my life total a little bit. What is this? The two... Boy. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay. Whale. Let's play you. And then pass. And hope we get there. Because we've destroyed three lands and they still have six now. So... That didn't do much. Vivian, okay. Okay, it's fine. Okay. We are still going to greet it. Give it a warm welcome. See if they attack. My turn. Boom. That's a. Uh, Lava Coil's interesting. I can't target anything right now. I would just have it in my hand. We're actually going to pass it up, unfortunately. Does it have reach? Yeah, heck yeah, we're revealing Demolish. Heck yeah. Does have reach, okay. So attacking wouldn't do us a lot of good here. It might have been more important for me to get Garuda in hand, in retrospect. Oh, God. I am actually just going to call it here, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah, I can see the writing on the wall. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a drag. Oh well, what what could have gotten us out of that? Like a top deck lava coil with Kefnet for eleven, uh, with the Jai's greeting in hand. We can do. You know what? This is a mono black video. Let's go back to mono black for a sec. I did feel like that one. Like, what are you? You're sort of doomed to lose that one because as many lands as we destroyed, we still couldn't get the job done. Oh well, what can you do? What? I don't even know. What What can you do, folks? Alright. Otter. <laughs> Alright. Keep this. It's a mono black video. What am I doing playing other decks? Playing more viable decks, come on. Why would I do that? Hmm. Oh, Yorian. Okay. Yorian is absolutely still a good card. It doesn't water down the opposing deck enough to be that big of a deal. Lurus and Yorian, I think, are the two that benefit the most from the... or that don't get nerfed... Or get nerfed the least. Let's... Oh, okay. Okay, there's a mole. I can live with that. And for those that still don't know, this is Yorian. Yorian is silly. Yorian is silly. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna play Gutter Bones first, and then play Knight on the next turn. Hello. Nice sleeves, dude. Haven't seen Boondocks Kaya in a hot minute. So that, that's my favorite sleeve. If I were to get a sleeve from this, it would be Boondocks Kaya. It's the uh, anime Kaya, the War of the Spark uh, anime Kaya. She looks like a gender bent uh, Huey. I was about to say Riley, but no, Riley's, Riley, Riley's the other one. Okay. Ooh! Didn't play a land first. Ah. Alright. 
Well, we still got the counter. I don't know if playing Rotting Regisaur... Probably. Probably getting out the 7-6s is, is the right play. To be honest. I'm gonna end up discarding probably Vampire. Okay. Well... Okay. They're gonna think that was some, like, mind game. No, it was just me forgetting I had another land. That's all. Three damage. Okay, gee, I wonder. Alright. Alright. Fair enough. Discard you. Attacks a Planeswalker you control. Okay. Well, we're gonna play that anyway, because we're gonna lose it if we don't. Alright. Nobody lives forever! Charge! Well, let's find out. We're in, we're in pretty good shape, I'd say. This is this is an obnoxious card. Why is this a thing? This this should not be a thing. Hey, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, to paraphrase April King, Cube April from Twitter, uh, what is a three mana seven six doing with an upside? <laughs> Remember Reanimator? Pepperidge Farm does. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, that's it for that's it for now. That's it for this video. Mono black with a dash of with a dash of land destruction. <laughs> because I want to watch people rage. Quit. I don't know. I play infect, so that usually gets the salt out pretty quickly, at least. Whereas. With something like land destruction, they kind of just have to sit there. Or, or in this, they could just concede. That's the thing. That is a viable win condition, your opponent conceding. Alright. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye! <laughs>